Usually, romantic love isn't very directly highlighted, but the love that Rachel had, sorry, that Jacob had for Rachel must have been just so dramatic, so overpowering, that it even, it just comes out in, in the narrative. As, and then when he takes this rock off, and, and he knows by now that this is Rachel, his first cousin. That wasn't a problem back then, by the way. There weren't as many people around as now. now the, so, you know, that, that was kind of all right in that culture. He knows this is Rachel, who has a beautiful figure and is really good looking, and he has been smitten by, um, by love at first sight. Genesis 29, 11 says that Jacob kissed Rachel and wept aloud. Can you imagine? Now, I have to say, you know, in Middle Eastern culture uh, today, maybe that might not be the done thing, but we shouldn't judge uh, biblical culture by, um, by Islamic culture. Okay? Women did not go around totally veiled back then. And, uh, you know, the, the norms that we believe are, uh, that hold true today aren't necessarily the you know, ancient norms back, back then. J- Jacob kisses Rachel and he wept aloud. I, I imagine Rachel was standing there rather stiffly, thinking, well, this is a bit of an overreaction to meeting a family member. <laughs> and, Rachel's, and, and Jacob is probably just hugging Rachel for all he's worth. He's overjoyed and he, because, you know, he knows that Rachel is the one. And he's just crying for joy because he can hug her <laughs> and kiss her. That's Genesis twenty nine eleven. It says that anyway. So anyway, so um, Jacob meets his future father in law Laban, and and Jacob comes empty handed. He fled from his family. He's got nothing. Important point. He's got nothing, and and he's a good worker. And Laban says to Jacob, "Look, you've, you've got nowhere to go. You shouldn't work for me for nothing." You know, um, let's have a bit of a employee, employer, you know, uh, worker union negotiation here. What, you know, um, what sort of wages would you like? And I think this was the worst employee bargaining deal arrangement in history. I mean, it's obvious they didn't have unions back then because Laban made the worst deal with his employer that he could possibly conceivably have made. He said, I will work for seven years if you will let me marry Rachel. Think about it. In today's terms, how what would be the average wage for seven years, you know, and add it up, you know, and and then think about inflation and just go back thousands of years. It's just an astronomical, inconceivable price that Jacob offered for the privilege of marrying Rachel. 